Are there any other um, kind of pitfalls that you see uh, actors, you know, getting into? Um, um, the, you know, that's uh, that's interesting. I, I think the biggest pitfall that I see, uh, quite frankly, is nervousness during auditions. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many, many fine, fine actors in this town uh, with excellent training, excellent ability, um, who falter when they're in an audition situation because they're just plain scared about something yeah. or worried about something or anxious about something. Um, and they can't book work, even though they have such good ability. Um, I, I hear stories uh, of actors going in to auditions and they're in the waiting room mm -hmm. and they see other actors there who are yeah. better better known than they are. And it's so easy to psych yourself out right at that point. Self-sabotaging right right behavior just starts kicking in yes. to some extent. Yeah. Yes, and that's unfortunate. Uh, it's uh, Of course, it's human nature in some respects to do that. But I believe it's something that's very important to work on. Mm -hmm. um, you, you try so hard not to compare yourself to anybody else in the waiting room. You really must try very hard not to do that. Mm -hmm. um, so what if there's a better known actor in there? Um, you know, if, if they were all that good at, at that role, they would have been offered that part. Right. You know, They're auditioning just as you're auditioning. Precisely. Yeah. Once they're in that waiting room, in that audition situation with you, you have just as much of a good chance of booking that job as they do. Mm -hmm. So why psych yourself out? Right. Okay. Uh, it is easier said than done, but it's something to work on. And I think, um, I think uh, I've heard other people in the industry uh, give advice uh, like uh, fake it till you make it. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Acting as if. Okay. Yeah. If you're a good actor, I think you might be able to pull that off. Okay. Right. To be able to act like you're not nervous and to be able to go in confident. You know, when you when you're in a in a waiting room and you're nervous, it shows. And when you go in in front of the casting and you're nervous, it shows. Yeah. And it kills your performance. So uh, fake it till you make it. Acting as if can can help. Uh, not everybody can pull that off, right. but it can certainly help. Uh, and there are other techniques and other methods out there uh, that actually help with overcoming nervousness and fear. So you're actually not faking it. Mm -hmm. You actually are able to work on yourself in such a way that you're actually going in without the nervousness and without the fear, even if you had it at some point in the past and you worked on it with mm -hmm. those techniques. So those are worth exploring. Those are worth looking yeah. into. Uh, but, but this is an area, I think, that, that every actor should work on. And no matter how much training you've had, no matter, no matter how much uh, ability you have, um, no matter how much you understand the uh, audition procedure, the audition protocol, um, you know, and, and by the way, some actors are not even comfortable, familiar with those things. Right. But, but you certainly understand those things through experience, through practice, through auditioning more and more. And also your representative can help you with, with audition protocol and what you should be doing right. in an audition. And uh, certainly there are very good books on the market, too, that can help with that. But even with all of that, I think it's vital for an actor to work on their, on their nervousness, on their fear, mm -hmm. on their anxiety, and go in... Um, you know, without it to as much of their uh, to to as much extent as they can, so that they're really able to pull off the best performance that they're able to. And you know, if they do book, book that job, they're going to have to do that anyway when they're really on camera right. for that job. Right. So, um, so it really, I cannot stress it enough. It's so important, and I think mm -hmm. we as an industry don't teach that enough. Well, it's funny because I've heard casting directors say that a lot of times they will decide whether or not they're even interested in an actor uh, well before they even say their first line. Correct. Uh, it's them walking in the door. The 10 seconds that they come in and say hello, you know, they'll know a lot of times 
whether or not to even consider the performance that they're about to see. Precisely. I've heard that time and time again. And um, uh, that's why I'm, uh, you know, when you said what, are, what is a common pitfall, right. this is one big one. This is yeah. uh, something that I, I really help, try to help my clients with uh, constantly. And I think uh, it isn't done enough in our industry. Mm-hmm.